All right, guys, jumping into the tournament for Nat Tackle 3. So we are taking on the Kiloka B Squad of Glory is taking on the Ronso Fangs. So let's see what we can do. We faced the Luka Goers last time. We did okay. I feel like if I remember correctly, we didn't get a ton of experience for Keepa. But it's really about that slow, like... I, I guess there's that slow accumulation, if you will, of experience. I mean, we prefer it fast, but... Like, in games like this where we're facing Nizuru with Anti-Wither 2... It's going to be really challenging to actually, like, make that a reality. Alright, but you're going to have Warja here push midfield. You know, do his thing and such. Going to get encountered by Jasu and Keepa. So Jasu probably not going to be able to steal the ball on his own. But he could... No, never mind. I was going to say he could set up Keepa for a steal. But there was just way too much remaining endurance. For Kiba to do anything uh, like steal the ball. But yeah, gonna have Warja here push midfield. I don't hate it, it's fine. Um, gonna go for the Wither Pass. Again, we're gonna challenge this. Um, yeah, honestly, like, this is a good move. Like, regardless um, of, uh, of the situation, because it would have been unlikely for Vorja to actually do that pass above all three players. It's funny, I was talking to a Fafnir fan about this, because they were, they were like, they, they let the comment or something, where they said, like, finally Colkin passes instead of taking the tackle or something. And, uh, Borgia, Borgia needs to learn that in more situations, but I don't hate it there. Like, I don't hate the pass there. I mean, to be fair, it didn't make a ton of sense. Well, actually, what do I know? I was going to say, it doesn't make a ton of sense for him to push into all our players like that. But 56 seconds in, they made a goal, so, again, what do I know? I mean, they're definitely doing better than I am. I've got zero goals, so, um, yeah, it's it's interesting, because, I don't know, the AI just doesn't make good decisions, but with a team like the Kill Cabeast, potentially they could fumble their way to, to victory, right? That's, that's how that goes. Granted, I'm also not playing with, like, my best lineup here. Like, um, it's such, a, it's such a weird... To pass back to Jasu. I need to open up Waka here, but yeah, like if I had a different lineup, we'd be doing a little bit better. Like if we just actually had, um, particularly speaking, if we actually had Dotto in the field, we could abuse his speed. Uh, our goal would be a little bit better defended. Letting the midfield would be nice. Although I don't think, I mean, this might be a controversial opinion. Um, I don't know. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? Yeah, yeah hardcore. Um, I don't know if. Jasu in the midfield is necessarily a downgrade compared to Letty. I mean, it is in the endurance department, but the attack's better. So it's like, eh. You know, it's it's kind of like, it's a debatable on what's better or worse at that point. But this is exactly what Fafnir was talking about. Colkin takes a tackle and then just immediately loses the ball because of it. Like, it, there was no reason to take that tackle, uh, yet they did. So we're going to pass to Jasu here and... I mean, at this point, we really just gotta figure out, like, how in the world do we get ourselves the, I don't know, a goal? Like, I guess, considering it, we could probably just pass to Waka. There's there's risk here, and this is not a guaranteed goal, because basically we have to pull back to Voyager to encounter him, and ensure we only get into one person encounter. And again, not guaranteed, but it's at least something. Nap Tackle 3 comes out from Borgia. Thankfully, it does not nap Waka, so I'm super happy about that. And then we're just going for the Orc Spirit. No big deal. So you're gonna have uh, Waka here, going for the tackle. And then Vorge's endurance is have, but it doesn't really matter because the pass will go right to Larbite. With only a minute left, the the goal from Larbite is entirely reasonable, and the comeback goal from us is a, a faint dream. Keep in mind, Larbite did lose a technique. I don't know if that was tackle slip though. Oh, it might have been. Oh my gosh, this is, we're turning the tables. 
how the how the tables turn how the turns table it's happening I'm gonna pass to Waka and with 20 seconds left oh no um all right we gotta go for it I was gonna say with 20 seconds or with sorry with 40 seconds left um a goal was more than reasonable but having a defender in front of us severely hinders that attempt just don't touch it oh they oh, okay I mean it was worth it was worth a shot we do uh, hit Nizarut, so that's always positive. And it's going to be 1-1 one, one going into the second half. So, again, definitely some uh, some contention here, if you will. A little bit of experience for uh, for them, a little bit for us. Only six for Keepa, so not not a ton. Uh, Jasu's popping off. He got a bunch of experience. Uh, that was actually kind of crazy. Uh, Nizarut does not have... Okay, okay. Yeah, Nizrut does not have any form of uh, anti-wither. How interesting. Alright, so first things first, we're actually just going to pass to Keepa and have him go for the wither shot. Like, not doing anything crazy. Literally just hitting Nizrut in the face and moving on with life. That's the goal right now. So you got Nizarut, um, block is have, Vorja with the ball. Gonna be pushing, um, I guess midfield here? Mid-ish field? Something like that. If Waka can get the ball here, we could probably just have him go for the, like, the attempted shot. Just to really come out aggressive. Oh, and he does get the ball. Oh, this is, this is the time. I mean, Vorja encounters, but it means nothing. Going up 2-1 is definitely preferred. Forger goes for the pass and then keep it thankfully is able to just outright block it so we can kind of pull back a little bit here. And essentially, if all goes well, I don't know if Waka actually, honestly, I don't know if Waka actually gets this. I think, I think it's reclaimed by Forja most likely. Which is a shame, but you know. Oh, Colgan. Interesting. That is not who I expected to get the ball. Alright, we're going to tackle through. And then, yeah, Colgan with the, uh, with the pass. So you got to have Walker here tackle through. I mean, we're still up 2 1, so that's good. And Iskin with the ball. So Iskin's going to be pushing right side here. Iskin's endurance is have, but it doesn't mean too much. Spot is gonna tackle through. Man, we we like we can chip away at the armor, but they they still keep on kicking. Oh, but oh my gosh, the block is there. Can Waka claim this? We can't. He's so close. He's quite literally next to Deem. Oh my god. Oh no. Deem's taking the tackle. This could be fatal. Oh, it's fatal. 
it's absolutely fatal. So we're gonna have Iskin tackle through, but that's just it's too much. The game's over. They lose ball possession at a critical moment. And now we're getting at a 3-1. There it is, three to one. All right, so you're gonna have walk air tackle through. And there it is, three one. That's beautiful. I mean, we don't get a ton of experience for Keepa, but we get a win, which is good. And 11's not bad. It's decent. All right. Well, we 3-1 the Kill Beast, and Guado Gori's 5-1 the Fangs. I kind of wish Fangs win would have won that game, but they also are been they, they have been a, a, some trouble against us recently. I don't know. My English is failing me, but they've been difficult. They've been difficult. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and when you come back, we are going to be playing more Blitzball. Till next time.